Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to cover our first real gas law, and this one's called Boyle's Law. And Boyle's Law deals with how the pressure and the volume of a gas are related. All right, now keep in mind here, we'll study Boyle's Law. A few sections later, we'll study uh, Charles's Law, and then we'll study a few other laws. Eventually, we will culminate in the ideal gas law, which is kind of the grandfather that encompasses all of these guys. So for now, we're gonna zero in on Boyle's Law, but just keep in mind, it's kind of a, uh, a smaller uh, child law to the giant ideal gas law that we're going to get to a little bit later. So when you think of a gas, what properties um, all together, what properties do you think could totally describe a given gas? Well, a given gas is going to have some kind of pressure associated with it, so we'll call that P. Uh, some gas may also have associated with it a temperature, that's called T. And some gas, of course, is going to occupy a fixed volume, uh, volume V. And also, any gas that you can think of will have a certain amount to it, the number of, of moles in. Okay, so these are the, the important variables here that govern the behavior of all gases, all right? Now, we're not gonna talk about all of them at first. In this one, we're going to be dealing with Boyle's Law, which has to do with the pressure of a gas and how it relates to the volume. But I want you to keep the big picture in mind. Any gas that you have, any gas, can be described by its pressure, its volume, its temperature, and N, which is number of moles, which is how much of the gas you have. If you know all of those things, then you know everything there is to know about that gas, uh, how much of it is, what's the pressure, what's the temperature, what's the volume. All right, so Boyle's Law in words, Boyle's Law, this is how it's typically written in the book, so I'll write it down real quick and we'll talk about it. At constant, whoops, at constant um, temperature, Boyle's Law states the following. The volume of a gas varies inversely. We'll talk about what that means in a second. With the pressure. All right, a lot of students read this and they'd say, what does this even mean? Basically what it's saying, when you see something varies inversely, it means when one property goes up, the other property goes down. It's like a seesaw, right? So one side goes up, other side goes down. If you flip it the other way, then they vary inversely with one another. If something varies directly, they both go up at the same time or they both go down at the same time, but that's not the case here. In Boyle's Law, what we're saying is the pressure and the volume, the volume and the pressure, vary inversely with one another. That means when one goes 